fans have crowded the Astrodome to hear two super groups tonight. Guns N' Roses and Metallica are hitting our state. Our reporter Chris Adams is covering that concert. He's joining us now live, and it's quite a different crowd than we saw at the Republican convention, isn't it, Chris? I would say uh, definitely so. On stage right now, Guns N' Roses, they're entertaining about 45,000 fans. Now, the music is loud, the crowd is mostly young, and the energy level is high. If you've never been to one of these things, I can tell you it's quite an experience. The masters of heavy metal Metallica exploded onto the Astrodome stage about 5 o'clock. In the audience, it looks like a riot, but it's just dancing. All in all, a headbanger's paradise. That's great, man. That's great. You gotta be here. The crowd was almost as interesting as the acts. The people watching, it's great, yeah. You know, your reach, your hippies, your little ten-year-olds, you know, going around. So live and let die. Closing out the seven-and-a-half-hour show, Guns N' Roses. Any concert of this size is bound to have problems. This one is no exception. The bulk of the arrests made were for public intoxication. A number of people had to be treated or even carried out, but it was not as bad as it might have been. It's been pretty light, not as much as we expected to be. Heat exhaustion, people eat that are had too much to drink, stuff like that. That's about it. More than 50 people were treated for health-related problems. About two dozen people were arrested. 